up with our motto, let learning be a joy and teaching a pleasure. Here we are with a remote teaching and learning process to bridge the gap. Happy learning, students. Hello, dear students. Today we will learn Mathematics Part 1 of Standard 9, Chapter 1, Sets. In the previous video, you had learned Venn diagram, subset, universal set, complement of a set. In this video, we will solve practice set 1.3. Let's solve practice set 1.3. Main question 1. If A is a set of A, B, C, D, E, B is a set of C, D, E, F, C is a set of B, D and D is a set of A, E. Then which of the following statements are true and which are false? Let us see these statements. First one, C is a subset of B. What it means? It means all the element of C should be included in set B. Let us see the elements of set C. They are B and D. Whether they are included in set B? No, the first element B is not included in set B. As all the elements of set C is not included in set B, this statement is false. Let us see the second statement. A is a subset of D. Again, it means all the elements of A should be included in D. Here, all the elements of A is not included in D. So we will write, as all the elements of set A is not included in set D, this statement is false. Let us check third statement. D is a subset of B. It means all the elements of D should be included in B. Here, the elements of D are not included in B. It will be written as, as all the elements of D is not included in set B, this statement is false. Let us check the fourth statement. D is a subset of A. Let us see the elements of D set, A and E. Whether this element A and E are the part of set A? Yes, A and E are included in set A. It means D is a subset of A. As all the elements of D is included in set A, this statement is true. Let us see the next statement. B is a subset of A. All the elements of B is not included in A. Therefore, it will be written as, as all the elements of set B is not included in A. This statement is false. Let us see the last statement. C is a subset of A. C contains two elements, B and D, which are part of set A. Therefore, it will be written as, as all the elements of C is included in set A, this statement is true. Sum number 2. Take the set of natural numbers from 1 to 20 as universal set and show set X and Y using Venn diagram. Sub question 1. X is a set of all X such that X is an element of natural number and now X variable has two conditions one on the left hand side one on the right hand side the left hand side condition will give us the starting element and the right hand side condition will give us the ending element let us see here what the condition they had given on the left hand side X greater than 7 a natural number greater than 7 is 8 means we got the first element of set X that is 8. Now let us read the condition given on the right side. X is less than 15. A natural number less than 15 is 14. Means 14 will be the ending element of set X. Let us write first in the listing form. U is a set of first 20 natural numbers and X is a set of 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 
Here all the elements of set X are included in universal. Therefore, in a Venn diagram, by rectangle sign, we will show universal set. By circle and oval, we can show X set. First, we will list all the element of set X. And then the remaining elements of universal will be listed outside the circle, but inside the rectangle. Let us begin with the second sub-question in that. Why is a set of all Y such that Y is an element of a natural number? Y is a prime number from 1 to 20. First, let us write in a listing form. U is a set of first 20 natural number and Y is a set of prime numbers between 1 to 20. Those numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19. Now let us make the Venn diagram. A rectangle for universal and oval or a circle for set Y. All the elements of set Y are included in universal. Therefore first we will display all the elements of set Y and then the remaining elements of universal set will be listed outside the circle but inside the square. Sum number 3. U is a set of 1, 2, 3, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and P is a set of 1, 3, 7, 10. Sub question 1. Show the sets U, P and P complement by Venn diagram. Let us list all the three sets in a listing form. U set and P set are written as they had given above. We are listing P complement. Now P complement will include the elements which are not there in P set but present in U. So here those elements are 2, 8, 9, 11, 12. Now let us represent in a Venn diagram. Rectangle sign will be used for universal. Oval or a circle will be used for set P. All the elements of P are included in universal. Therefore, set P is represented inside the rectangle. All the elements of P set will be written in a circle or an oval shape. They are 1, 3, 7, 10. Now the elements which are not in P but present in universal will be called as P complement. So those elements will be written in a rectangle but outside the circle. Sub question 2. Verify P complement complement is equals to P. Again let us list the universal set and P set from the sum. We are going to write again P complement the elements which are not there in P but present in universal. They are 2, 8, 9, 11, 12. And we are also writing set P complement complement. It means the elements which are not there in P complement but there in universal will be listed here. So those elements are 1, 3, 7, 10. Observe 1 and 2. Set P and P complement complement contains same element. Therefore, from 1 and 2, it can be said as P complement complement is equals to P. Sum number 4. A is a set of 1, 3, 2, 7. Write 3 subset of set A. We are going to list 3 subset of set A. What is the definition of subset? A part of a set is called as a subset means we can take the sets where we can contain few elements of set A or all elements of set A or even a null set can be a subset of set A. So here we are listing seven subsets of set A but we can write any three out of it. Sum number five. Sub question 1. Write the subset relation between the following sets. P is the set of residents in Pune. M is the set of residents in Madhya Pradesh. I is the set of residents in Indore. B is the set of residents in India. 
H is the set of residents in Maharashtra. Let us check set P. The residents of P, Pune, is also the resident of Maharashtra as well as they are the resident of India. Therefore, it will be said as P is a subset of H as well as P is a subset of B. Let us see for Madhya Pradesh. The resident of Madhya Pradesh, he will be a subset of set B which represents India. So, it can be written as M is a subset of B. I, the resident of Indore, will be a subset of Madhya Pradesh and India. It will be written as I is a subset of M as well as I is a subset of B. Set H, the residents of Maharashtra, will be a subset of India. It will be written as H is a subset of B. Sub question 2. Which set from the above example can be chosen as the universal set? The definition of universal set is a set that accommodates all the given set. In this example, India, a set B can accommodate all the given set. Therefore, from above, all the sets are the subset of B. Therefore, set B can be chosen as a universal set. Sum number 6. Which set of the numbers could be the universal set for the set given below? Sub question 1. A is a set of multiple of 5. B is a set of multiple of 7. C is a set of multiple of 12. Let us write in a listing form. A can be written as set of 5, 10, 15 and so on. B can be written as set of 7, 14, 21 and so on. C will be written as 12, 24, 36 and so on. Here set A, B and C are the subset of natural number, whole number as well as integer. Any of these sets, natural number, whole number or integer set can be taken as universal set for set A, B and C. Sub question 2. P is a set of integers which are multiple of 4. T is the set of all even square numbers. Again, let us write in a listing form. P is a set of 4, 8, 12 and so on. T is a set of 4, 16, 36, so on. Set P and T are the subsets of natural number, whole number as well as integer. Any of the natural number, whole number or integer set can be taken as universal set for set P and T. Sum number 7. List all the students of a class in a universal set. Let set A be the students who secure 50% or more marks in maths. Then write the complement of set A. Definition of complement is a set opposite to the given set. Here the given set is set A where students are included who had secured 50% or more marks in maths. Opposite of that will become less than 50%. The complement of set A is the set of students who secure less than 50% marks in maths. I hope you all had understood today's topic. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.